Hey guys, so this is the fourth video in the series of computer videos, and this video is basically um, the summarization of what a computer system and what an operating system is in the computer. So what is a computer system? A computer system comprises of a monitor, keyboard, motherboard, and CPU. The monitor, keyboard, and mouse are the hardware of the computer, and we are able to directly see and touch these things. On the other hand, the CPU and motherboard are the software of the computer and are responsible for analyzing data and instructions inputted into the computer and acting upon that data. In other words, the computer system is both the hardware and software of the computer. Now, there are many different types of computer systems, and each computer system has their own unique function. For instance, a personal computer, as shown by the top left-hand picture, is a compact computer that can be carried around or set on a desk. These computers are the types of computers that you or your parents may have to work on or play games on, and it might be lying around your house. Another type of com computer system is a workstation, as shown by the picture on the top right. This computer requires more enhanced ability and more power as compared to the personal computer, and this type of computer is used to create computer software and create applications. You might find them in offices that specialize in the creation of software or offices that need to access 3D models. The third type of computer system is a mini computer, as shown by the bottom left-hand picture. A mini computer requires more power than a workstation and personal computer, and allows many users to be accessing it, accessing it at the same time. Up to 200 users can be accessing it at the same time. And finally is the supercomputer, as shown by the bottom right. A supercomputer is a huge computer that requires for computing difficult math calculations or carrying out high-level instruction. Big organizations such as NASA use supercomputers to help them carry out their role in the society. So now I'm going to move on into the second part of this video, which is operating systems. I've already talked about the software and computers and how the CPU works in the computer in previous videos, but in the computer system, there's also something called the operating system, or also referred to as the OS. The operating system acts as a bridge between the computer's hardware and software, and basically allows the hardware to interact with the computer's software, and thus connects the computer system as a whole. For instance, if a mouse, the hardware, is clicked to open a file, which is done by the software, this is the operating system at work, because the hardware, the mouse, is able to interact with, with the software, the mouse clicking to open a file. Different companies provide different operating systems for computers. Each operating system has its own applications and functions, depending on the operating system, and the computer will complete the task in a unique way that is unique to the specific operating system of the specific company. For instance, if you try and log into an Apple computer, it feel in a way that you may feel different than if you were to use a Windows operating system. The most common operating systems are Microsoft Windows, as I already referred to, Apple iOS, and Google's Android OS, S, Apple Mac OS, Tizen, and Linux operating system. So how does the operating system actually let the hardware interact with the software? Well, the operating system comprises of the kernel, known as the heart of the operating system, and the shell. The shell, located between the human and the kernel, analyzes and interprets the data given to it by the hardware and turns the instruction of the user into a code for the computer to understand. Then the shell takes this code to the kernel, which is part of the software, and is able to perform the task and display the result on the monitor of the computer using the code that the shell gave it. Think of it as a piece of popcorn. The shell, or outside of the popcorn, is between the person who is trying to eat it and the kernel of the popcorn, kernel of the popcorn is to become what it is just like the kernel of the operating system, is what allows it to be what it is. Now, there are two main types of operating systems. One of them is the Character User Interface Operating System, 
or the CUI operating system. This operating system uses a keyboard where the tasks which need to be performed are typed out and committed to the software. And these are where many jobs of IT come into play. The second one is the Graphical User Interface Operating System, or the GUI operating system. This operating system uses a mouse to perform the task, and the mouse clicks on the files that need to be opened or closed and communicate with the software this way. This way is a little slower than the Character User Interface Operating System. There are certain jobs that the operating system has. In the previous video, How a Computer Works, I talk about the CPU and how it interacts with the secondary and primary memory. Well, one job of the operating system is the responsibility of managing the memory and making sure that the memory moves to different places while a user is accessing a program that requires the memory. Another job of the operating system is actually executing the program, and the system is known as progress management. OS also manages storage, such as finding a place for new data to be stored. Furthermore, the operating system schedules when to send data to the data processor, and this maintains smoothness while the program system as the manager of employees, such as a storage employee, a memory employee, a process employee, and a scheduling, scheduling employee, as seen here. The operating system is in charge of every one of these employees in order for them to run smoothly. So that's pretty much it for this video, and I hope you got a good understanding of what an operating system is and what the computer system is. So just to give a quick recap, a very, very vague recap, the operating system basically connects to the computer system because the operating system connects the software and the hardware of the computer system. Anyway, here are some citations of the where I got my information for the content of the video and some photos. Here are just a few more citations of where I got my photos. And here are a couple more citations for where I got my photos. And finally, here are the last couple of citations for my photos. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you learned a lot, again, about the computer systems and operating systems. And if you didn't get some of the content, then maybe check out some of the previous videos of this computer video series. And um, there are many more computer videos to come. And please subscribe if you want to keep watching those kinds of videos. And comment if you want to learn about a specific part of the computer or go more in depth about the computer or learn about a different topic. And I'll try and do that for you. Thanks for watching.